Hello everybody, this is Game God Fluent bringing you episode 2 of Let's Play Thea The Awakening, Return of the Giants. Uh, we're going to go ahead and continue here. We're playing as Velas, the Keeper of the Underworld. But of course the gates of the afterlife are, are slammed shut and souls of the dead roam Thea and wreak havoc among the living. Um, I had a few comments last episode, so first of all, shout out to anybody watching this. Appreciate your viewership, as always. Uh, but I had a comment about who's involved in the fights that I do, or that we had, and who's involved in the village. So, Astoya, from what I understand, this symbol here means how many villagers are there. This, 36, I'm not sure. Um, and I'm not sure about that either. But if I, I think there's a way if I right click, or if I click Astoya inventory equipment new expedition if we look here um yeah sasha saruba and nigoslava are taking care of um the production in the village so nigoslava is actually not busy it looks like looks like those two are busy um vegetable and wood so we crafted clothes, I guess. Um, should we craft cooked meals? Hmm. Primary material, juicy chunk of meat. Secondary material, a veg, no. Vegetable, secondary material, meat and catalyst wood a form of vegetable stew traditionally made of sauerkraut but any veg does the job if needed so we can make cooked food um and have Nigo Slava do that cool so she's busy these two are busy making food and fuel. And then these three, or it looks like there's three here. This squad. If there's a way to view them. Move. Inventory. Equipment. Let's just look at... No, not search location. Expedition 1. Four out of five movement points. And there's six units in this expedition. So it looks like there's just three, but there's actually six. Um, I... Four out of five movement points. I don't know what five means or 14. And apparently they're carrying 1630 out of eight out of 3450. Um, so the dungeon was Theodore's tutorial up here. So we're going to have to take the expedition. Here. Okay, so now they have one. It takes two to move into that section. They have one movement point left. And we're going to head for the dungeon. So let's end our turn. Turn six. Okay, um. Trying to get up there. And there's some spider nests here. And we're out of movement again. Um, new groups, cycle between groups and village, go to settlement, research, open research screen. Research screen allows you to spend advancement points to unlock new resources, crafting, and construction recipes. An advancement point is given when enough research points are collected. Research points are gained by crafting and constructing, visiting ruins, and also in some events. So we have one advancement point. Um, and we only have, oh no, we have a lot of places we could go. Quartz, so what is this? Sandstone. Iron. Gathering, crafting, and construction. So I'm gonna, I'm going to close this. I'm not going to do that just yet. Um, 
5 out of 13 research shows your current research points and how much more is needed to gain an advancement point. And this shows your current experience points and how much more is needed for level up. Okay. So we're just going to continue moving to this dungeon as the tutorial kind of asked. Um, it looks like there's maybe treasures here. Let's come over here and see what this is. In each turn, we see, okay, we have to choose research, spend that advancement point. Villagers idle, some idle villagers are not assigned to any task. Click to show location and show summary of inf resources that were added to each group since last turn. So plus 40 vegetables by Ostoya. Okay, let's check the villagers. Um, Nigoslava is once again idle. Did she craft the cook meals? Hmm. And let's check out her stats. She has a foreign craft. Okay. So it'll show her stats. She has a foreign gathering and a foreign construction. Not enough resources for a pasture. Crafting, cook, clothes, cooked meals. Um, what's in our inventory? Do we have any of that cooked meal? Yes, we have a form of vegetable stew. Okay, so... Let's have her... Let's have her gather. Um, we have food, so let's have her gather wood, which, which will help to gather more wood as we have more of an abundance of food than we do wood. So that'll keep them busy. Um, let's head here. Expedition, one out of five. Uh, search location. You stumble across some ruins of an old city, engulfed in mist and mystery. Um, let's search. You search the abandoned abodes and open some old dusty cellar. As the heavy doors crack, you are swarmed by some crazed bats. Okay, two arms, we fight. Ooh, four deformed bat and three hulking bat. Okay, this is not very good, actually. But we have some good cards, so it looks good. Let me light a cigarette here. Hulking rat. Okay, not hulking bat. Um, we can go ahead and play you. And dispose of these pretty easily. Oh, I have one more card to play. Uh, shoot. Right most allied card in the queue whose level is equal or lower than first action is moved to the beginning of the queue. Um, and Bogafala. We'll play those two. Plays a deformed bat. And we can play. Let's shield the ally. Let's shield Bogafala since her defense is not too great. Let's call that. So we should be able to slice through these guys pretty well. Oh, there's more. Okay, another card. Let's play... Nivko. There's a hulking rat. Let's, uh... 
allows character to enter the battlefield by doing so, but by doing so it gets confused and loses its attack in the first phase. Support ally. I'd like to shield ally, but we'll support ally. And then opponent gets to play another hulking rat. And first action, rightmost card in the queue, Nevco, is moved to the beginning of the queue. I don't think we want to do that, so let's just get closer. Alright, let's see how it plays out. Down goes one deformed bat. Down goes two deformed bats. Three. Nice. Hulking rats get out of there. Hulking rat. Cool. That works. Pretty simple. So we got bird meat, a juicy chunk of poultry, leather, meat, oh, a battle slingshot. It's crude and ugly, but it almost shoots straight and you can always hit someone with it. 16 quartz, abundant mineral, very hard. Once used for decorative carvings, now valued for durability, comes in many colors. 13 wood, regular wood, but with a bit of effort can be crafted into something useful or burned as fuel. And malachite, green gemstone. Gems give a random skill bonus when crafting... Upon crafting weapons and armor, the rarity of the gem improves the strength of the bonus. And the two will got three wounds. Shows how much damage you have taken and lowers your health. So because that was a regular fight and not a hunt or what have you, um, it caused wounds. So let's take the stuff and leave the place. Two XP and one research point. All right, we could go that way, but I'm going to head over this way and get to this dungeon. A small group of travelers passes by your village. You exchange basic supplies and talk. Because of your kindness, they tell you of a herbalist living in a solitary hut out in the wilderness. They say she can cure any poison and even heal wounds, for a price, of course. They give you a map to the herbalist's hut and depart on their journey. Great, we're checking out if we're ever wounded or poisoned. Plus one XP. There's the herbalist hut. Okay, so we've got abilities improved. Your people's ability have improved. Click to see details. Okay, Nitubal has gone to craft. Jinvri, animal kinship. Bagufala folklore. Nivko folklore. Zona tactics. And Tomash range damage. Okay. Um, plus one gathering, plus one health, plus one health. Okay. Choose research. All right, we do have to choose research. Okay. Gathering. Um, iron. So this would allow me to gather gold. Hmm. Or gather elven wood is quite rare, often overlooked by gatherers, more durable than common wood. Dark wood, almost black in color with prickly texture. Dark wood should be handled carefully, slightly poisonous. Vine, long and strong plant fibers, mostly found growing on tall trees. Spider silk is delicate and silky to the touch, yet it's one of the strongest materials. And here's straw, but we could get wicker. This plant fiber is great material for crafting light and sturdy items. Cane, woody stalks gathered from tall grass is more durable than straw but less flexible. Monster bones are bones of unnatural creatures. They seem to increase endurance of anyone wearing equipment made out of it. Here we can get clay is a very good building material. Plastic when wet and easy to form. It becomes hard and brittle upon drying or firing. Uh, said quartz. Hmm, we can't get scaled leather but we can get fur leather. It's thicker than normal leather and so provides better protection. Amber, pretty fossilized tree resin. Gems give a random bonus upon crafting weapons and armor. The rarity of the gem improves the strength of the bonus. 
So this is all stuff we can gather. So actually, before I do this, um, I want to head to Ostoya and have um, her come back from that. We can, whoops, we can actually gather um, how do I have her gather like something else? Oh, there is only food and wood around. So that's all she can gather. Uh, craft more clothes, I guess. One string. One leather. And one leather. Plain shirt. We'll have Nico Slava do it. All right, let's spend that. Whoops, spend that research point. I'm sorry, advancement point. Um, steel, very durable material, but difficult to obtain. Nowadays, steel is usually recovered from items made before the cataclysm. Um, amber, gold, elven wood. All right, so crafting. We could craft one-handed sword. Short and long swords held in one hand, lighter but allow for a shield held in the other hand. Craft cook meals. Roasted meals. Roasted food tastes way better than raw and it is more practical for traveling. Roasted meals are lighter as well. Baked goods are yummy and they are lighter than carrying raw ingredients. Staves are light and simple to make which makes them a popular choice for many. Clubs, the simplest blunt weapon wielded in one hand. Bows serve as good we support weapons for those who stand further away in combat. One-handed axes for chopping off smaller bits. Light armors, ideal for weaker characters that don't want to carry too heavy equipment. And jewelry, a pretty ornament that can also add various bonuses to its wearer. Hmm. And construction. Watchtower observation point allows you to see further distances. Increases visibility around your village does not stack with other watchtowers. The well provides various resources said to come from the depths of Thea. Grants random resources each turn does not stack with other wells. Smithy, a proper place for crafting items and equipment, increases the crafting skill and unlocks the chance to craft good quality items. Children growing up to be craftsmen receive five more skill points. Uh, this is pasture. Rearing your own animals means your people will not need to hunt so often. Grants meat each turn. Herbalist Hut, a place where all the sick and wounded can receive help, increases health regen, and produces herbs each turn. Children growing up can choose the medic class. Cabbage field from time to time, far from the expected vegetable a baby is found among the cabbages. Um, I'm actually thinking Watchtower. Which will then lead to Unknown, but a Watchtower so we can see... Visi get more visibility um, by researching watchtower your villagers will be able to craft this item using the following recipe oh needs a lot 25 wood maybe another 25 wood and 10 wood uh, like I said I might want to keep this point for a while um, we can already gather iron just close for now until we have more of a sound idea of what we're going to do with those points all right so you guys head here you stumble across some ruins of an old city engulfed in mist and mystery all right let's search you open one of the buildings a strange looking stone and metal built affair and you hear a clunking noise then a blunt thud before you are able to do anything, you see a skeleton charging your way. Two arms. Four hulking rats and one skeleton. Looks pretty good. Mmm. Hmm. My gosh, that is a strong skeleton. Um. Let's play Tomash.
and support ally. Plays a hulking rat. Let's play in the tubal. And um shield ally. Okay, so let's play Evco. First action, the rightmost card in the queue whose level is equal is moved to the beginning of the queue. I don't want to do that, so let's get closer. So if this goes well... Oof. That works. And so does that. Still not quite sure how it works. But we'll take it. You search the buildings and discover a supply store still intact. We've got leather jerkin, a well made leather jerkin, both stylish and sturdy enough to keep you safe. Meat. Thorny Warhammer, this giant masterpiece will surely be more than a mere thorn in your side when it crashes its enemy's bones. Quartz, wood, and seven steel. Tomash took five wounds and Nivko took two. Oh, that wasn't the tutorial. This was. Huh. <laughs> you enter an underground complex that turns out to be some old, long forgotten dungeon. You're not sure what used to be the purpose of these dungeons, but they seem large. All right, let's explore. Inside, there are two main tunnels leading deeper into the complex. Go left. You take the left turn and go down a long, winding corridor with empty alcoves spread about in equal spaces, each alcove hiding a potential doorway to explore. You enter one such opening and you arrive in a dusty old library. Many of the scrolls and even the leather-bound tomes are rotten to the core. But if you're careful, you may salvage some. It will take a lot of finesse and intellect to do right. Three skulls, possibly dangerous choice. Some choices may be more dangerous than others. Number of skulls from one to five represents the scale of danger. Uh, okay, try it. Sorry, challenge was seven times in intellect. So it's not going to hurt us with wounds, so we should be okay. Oof. Yeah, we're gonna have no chance against this. And, um, confuse. Opponent's rightmost card in the queue. Whose level is equal and is already confused. Loses the attack in the first fight phase. Yes, let's confuse. Oh. Okay. Um... I don't know, and it's Hubel. Yeah, we're not gonna win this. No way. And um, get closer. Yeah, we're just going through the motions here. This is not going to be successful. Their attacks are too high. Compared with their defense as well. We have no chance. And just for fun, they play two more as if was ever any doubt. Oh. And 
Now they're grinding our gears. Got one of them, maybe? No. Almost got one. Alright, we lost. Nobody could solve the intellect Books puzzle. just too rotten to salvage anything at all. So instead, you gather up some spider webs. You can't leave here empty handed. Oh, that's pretty nice. We got two spider silk. That's cool. Um. You enter an underground. Inside, there are two main Let's tunnels. go right this time. You take the right turn and go down a wide corridor with many doors on both sides. You try one of the chambers, and you see it must have been some old jail, as there are many open cells with iron bars. Before you can explore more, you realize the bones of the convicts have risen and are attacking you. Yeah, tactical retreat, perhaps another time. Alright, so I don't understand... Um, what this has to do with the tutorial. Was I supposed to do something here? Um, where's the logbook? Open game log. Theodore's tutorial, part 7. You enter an underground complex. Okay. Okay, craft him 10 cooked, baked, 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 <laughs> naked, baked, baked or roasted food. Okay, so that's what we have to do. So let's come back here. And have you make some more cooked meals. Whoops. Let's have her do that. And that's going to make the amount of items received upon completing the task eight. Oh, for eight weight. Okay, that looks pretty good. Spider's nest, one skull. Maybe we can tackle one skulls. Um, probably get a lot of spider silk out of that. Or we could head to the herbalist hut. One second, guys. Um, let's come down here. Yes, wonderful. You made your first batch of prepared food. No longer are you a mere scavenger. Now you can cook. Crafted foods are more efficient than the raw stuff, so you may want to take them when you're out exploring, as they are lighter to carry. Hmm. So now I have a harder task for you. Build me a building in your village. Any building will do. Good luck! Nine fur leather and eight steel. Alright then, one building to build, off we go. Turn ten. Production stopped. Okay, we know about that. Research. Enemy spotted. Villagers idle. Production complete. Resource income. Alright. So Nigoslava. Pasture is not a building. So we're going to have to spend a research point on Smithy or a Watchtower. What does the smithy take? 25 wood. 25 wood and 10 wood potentially. Or 2 steel. Um, locks a chance to craft good quality items. Let's make a watchtower. Okay, so I think I'm getting the hang of this. 
we can have Nigo Slava. Oh, not enough resources for Watchtower. What about for Pasture? We actually can build a pasture. 25 wood. 8 steel. And vegetables. And a watchtower is 25 wood, 8 steel, and we need we need 50 wood basically. So let's save up some more wood. So Nikoslava, go and gather some more wood. And uh, we'll take our wandering party here. Let's head to a spider's nest, why not? You approach the beast and have time to decide your, plas your plan of action. Why risk a frontal attack when we have good hunters with us? Go hunting. You stake out the animals and prepare traps for the hunt. Get hunting. Two times hunting. Pretty sure we can handle this. Oh, we've got those zero attacks again. Nobody has hunting. Hmm. Okay. Hopefully this works. Uh, only three attack, two defense. Okay, this will be fine. Um, let's throw you out there, Zona. And then support ally. Oh, it's a tougher one. We can play five cards. Support ally. Um, do I have to play those cards or can I just... Affect poison but you have no attack. So I don't think there's much of a reason, but we'll play Tomash anyway. And, um, just play those. One hunting down. Thing, and I get to play six cards, so we'll send Zona and support ally. And uh, call it a day. There we go. We've successfully hunted them. You track down the prey and lead it right to the trap. Some of the pack could have gotten away, but you got your win. Two spider silk and four mushroom soup. Cream warming and tasty mushroom soup. Good. Take the loot and continue. And we can do those multiple times, it seems. And what... Do these guys have in their inventory equipment? You already have a crude bow. Oh, we do have that thorny warhammer, which is much better than his mace, Chindra. You're using a sharp hip, made from the hip of a Baba Yaga. Sharp hip. You're using a thorny warhammer. Using a Bramblewood Club. Sharp hit. Damage five. So if I give like Bogu Fa okay, who has four strength? Four strength, four strength. Six tactics, six strength, ten strength, five strength. So it'd be best to give, like, you the thorny warhammer. Yeah. 
It weighs a lot more. But I think it'll work. Oh, it's over her maximum weight carry limit. Okay, what about Bagufala? No. No. Hmm, no one can use the thorny Warhammer? You can. And you'd have to take off your shield. An iron buckler, it may be simple and a bit ugly, but it does what it says on the tin. Three armor, five shielding. Let's give you more attack, Tomash. And we've got a bone spike armor made from the bones of your fallen enemies. This armor is both strong and intimidating. Ten armor. Tomash is not wearing any armor, so let's get Tomash some armor. Leather jerkin. Could go to Zona. Creepy doll. So it's a really, really creepy wooden doll, but the wise ones swear that it brings special powers. Someone's already using that. Nivko. And we've got a battle slingshot. Oh, we could give... What is this? Ivory bracelet. Some would say it's a bit morbid, but reusing parts of all your prey has long been a time armor decision. Tradition. One backstab. Let's give Nivko the Bramblewood Club. Oh no, it's worse. Two damage. Um, what about... We, we give you this. Seven range damage for Nivko. Didn't I give you the leather jerkin? Oh, it's over her. Carry weight. 152. That's a heavy jerkin. Um. Wow. She could wear it. No? How much is she over by? Oh, she is wearing it. Okay. Takes off the quilted cloth. A simple cloth reinforced with hard bits. Good protection. Cheap to produce. Let's give that to you. No, we can't. Can we give it to you? 76? Nope. Let's take off the ivory bracelet. And put on the quilted cloth. Give her some armor. And the backstab damage can go to Nivko. Alright, what about a shield? 88. Is this shield better than that one? Three armor, five shielding. Okay, it's similar. You can't wear it. Okay. How do you tell who has range damage? One dexterity. What does this mean? Class. Oh, these are three craftsmen, and these are. This is a. Hunter, feel at home in the wilderness. They have a range of skills, especially useful during hunting challenges. And here's a warrior. Have more strength and health than others. Carry a two-handed sword in one hand. And another warrior. And then three craftsmen. So, um... The ranged weapon really should go to the warriors. Such as Tomash. Alright. Pretty cool. Oh, drag and drop a piece of equipment onto a highlighted slot. You can use shift and left click too. Note that your villagers can only carry a limited weight depending on their strength attribute. Got it. Alright. Hmm. The kid kills a mouse with his bare hands. Looks like a promising warrior. The kid worked on fields for a long time. It's time to take the rightful place between proud gatherers. 
The kids studied a lot. Crafting will help us be, build a brighter, better future. Let's make him a crafter. You have acquired Brutamila. You have lost a child. Not too helpful right now, but one day we'll grow up. Celebrate the rite of passage. Plus one XP. Turn 11. Okay. Oh. Rat Witch. How much wood do we have? Forty-seven wood. Oh, that's a fuel type. Well, still wood is wood. The inventory allows you to move items between groups. Click right detail to view an item in more detail. That is wood. To quickly move stacks, use shift and left click. If you move characters to a ground group, they will form a new expedition. Okay, so there's two more child children. Plain shirt. Oh, there's the plain shirt. So I guess we can equip one of these characters with it. Sure. Okay, our two warriors are Sasha and Saruba. You are a gatherer. Oh no, you're a gatherer. But you're wielding a two-handed greatsword. Gatherers are skilled at harvesting resources, but if you want them to perform in a fight, you better equip them well. And Brutamilla, who's a crafter. Brutamilla. Brutamilla. Um, go ahead and put on the plain shirt. Can you not? Yeah. Alright. Let's get these guys back down here to deal with this rat witch who's coming. Oh, one time witch and three hulking rats. Oh, okay, Sasha's pretty good, and so is Bradamila. Ooh, these are very good. All right. Looks good. Play one card. Let's play Sasha. I guess he gets a plus six because he's at he's in the town and it's like defense purposes. Um, but she gets a plus five. Um, play one card. Closer. And then shield ally. Because this is a for real fight. Um, I don't think I'm even going to play Bradamila. And just let these two do all the work. sure exactly what that just did. It moved the hulking rat to the start of the queue. The witch is done. Too, so let's play you and then shield ally oh first action would move Sasha to the beginning of the queue 
so he gets first action. I see. They move. They move the rat to the beginning of the queue. Um. So now Sasha gets first attack. And that was a pretty decent move to make right there. Sweet. What do we loot off her? Won the challenge. We got four herbs. Can be used both for medicine and for cooking. Remember, herbs will help fight fighting plagues. Meat. And a tibia club. Carving basic weapons of bones is an age-old craft, especially popular now that bones litter Thea's landscapes like grass. Sasha took two wounds. Okay, can we now build something here? We can construct a watchtower. So 25, 25, 2. We can also use elven wood. Um, and we'll have Bradamila take care of that. It'll take 8 turns. And I want to get these guys back into town here. I'm not sure why it's dark. Oh, it's nighttime. That's why. I want to get them down here to the herbalist hut. So it's a pretty interesting game thus far. I'm kind of getting the hang of it. I hope you guys bear with me. And are having fun. You find the solitary hut of the herbalist. It is a small wooden abode with a straw roof and smoke coming out of the chimney. There is a distinct smell of herbs and medicines in the air. An elderly lady walks out from the house to greet you. Welcome, travelers. What brings you to my home? Well, we were told you can cure any poison or wounds. Yes, indeed I can. But I haven't survived as long as I have by running a charity. If you wish to be healed, you will do me a favor. Beware, for healing wounds I require food and wood as payment, as well as a favor. But I am warning you, even if you fail the favor, I still take the goods. Poisons are cheaper, I only require a favor. So, do you need to be cleansed of a poison or wounds? We are wounded, lose 30 food and five wood. Healing wounds is a hard task and costs a lot in resources, you know. You must give me some food and wood for my trouble first. Then you'll sneak up to that wolf lair yonder and steal me a wolf cub. Be careful. If you fail, the wolf mama won't be happy. If you do both, I will heal all your wounds and give you a poultice that will keep you healthy for a time. No deal. First of all, how wounded really are we? Um, Jindra. Huh, nobody actually seems wounded. 11 out of 12 for Tomash. I guess they healed over time? I'm not sure. Manage supplies. If you want to restrict or allow usage of any specific food or fuel item, click on its icon. The more food varieties available to the group, the better, the more bonuses they get. Group size 6, movement points, food supplies, fuel supplies. Health plus one, if with two types of food, with three you get the health plus each party member gets one will. Five types of food you get movement points. That's what I would be shooting for. Okay. Well, it was good to like, figure that out. Um. Two broken skeletons and one unliving corpse. Tomash is definitely going to get closer, but... 
Alright. Let's see what's up here. Broken skeleton. Ooh, he's a toughie. Um... do that. I'm the T-Bolt and I have a plan actually. I'm going to move in the T-Bolt to the start of the group. Oh my. And use first action on the T-Bolt. And then play support ally. Opponent plays. What did it do? Oh, well, I'm going to. Oh, I can't do it since he just did it. Confuse. Lose your attack in the first round? Sure. We just confuse the broken skeleton. And that's all we'll play. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Not good. I think he died. Yeah, I think he died. Hope not. Zona and uh, first action for her too we're good <laughs> that worked out pretty well we've won but did we lost we lost a table nine wounds we got, why isn't it, monster bone, a round shield, a round wooden shield, which may seem simple, but you'll appreciate it's present when a bee is, bites it instead of your arm, and laminar armor. So this may not be the most durable of armors, but it will still stop many a deadly blows, and it's much more comfortable than, comfortable than metal, and the table is doing bad and did he die okay if your people get wounded during a fight challenge these wounds persist and if serious they may cause death one wound is recovered each turn as long as the group has food to improve healing set up a camp or go back to the village and make sure you have food and fuel medics reduce the chances of death for wounded party members also some events allow you to heal okay so there's still six members um Come back here and maybe set up a camp. How do I set up a camp? Open game log, go to settlement, next group. What is this? Wounded. There are wounded people in this group who may die. I set up a camp so they can heal. Right, I would like to. S oh, click here, probably. Yep, set up camp. Camping allows you to rest and gather resources. Setting up a camp costs one movement point. Okay, and for gathering. We'll send Jindra. No, there's nothing to gather, I guess. 
We're just restoring wounds. Oh, four malicious spiders. Well, he regained some, but he's got to chill right now. All right. What are we up against? Uh, pretty weak. See one card. We'll play Chindra. Delicious spider. Um support ally. And then, first action ally. Oh, it countered me with a first action. Eh. I counter you back with a first action. And that's all I'm gonna play. She'll be able to kill them all one shot so the card system shows quite a bit of depth and um, ingenuity oh why did that happen oh you only can fight the next two in queue I think next two in the line makes sense all right ginger took a wound we got some spider silk and a round shield oh don't make a camp by a spider's nest. How do we know if there's resources here? Um, now let's set up a camp. There's sandstone here. Okay, this is good. Let's grab as much of that as we can. What is that plus 49? Progress. Well, it's going to take two turns whether we do it or not. So let's send those two to collect sandstone. Is there a way to see what resources are nearby? Show high resources. Aha, that is very good to know. R toggles that. Okay. Alrighty. So how's the work the work going here? 130 of 300, four more turns. Which is not bad. Alright, cool. Alright, so I'm going to save here because I think I've been playing for a decent amount of time. Uh, I hope you guys like what you see. I think it's a pretty interesting game. Um, it's only going to open up more as we progress. I think it's a pretty massive game. And it's going to take many turns to complete or make a lot of progress. But that's what I plan to do. I plan on playing a lot more, so... Hopefully you guys are enjoying. If you are, press the like button. Leave me a comment. I always like reading and responding to the comments. And yeah, and yeah, excuse me. Um, I'll see you guys next time. So much love, peace, and joy to all of you. And take care. And leave me any questions if you have any too, and I'll try to answer them. But hopefully I've kind of been, you know, teaching you guys how the game works as well as I learn it. So we're kind of learning it together. So yeah. See you next time. So long.